Yo, 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 what's up, at Basketball 2? I bet we know video for this Saturday month, y'all, man. I'm gonna say enough, y'all. I'm okay, gonna do a video on uh, Olive on the Olive on private to one woman, uh, um, to where uh, the woman was, uh, you know, was arrested after a police chase standoff. Cause it's just a high speed chase in a secret police standoff in a, um, I think, uh, Northern Georgia, um, another Tarleton County, um, Friday afternoon. With the suspect being placed under arrest, the Alabama law enforcement agency is now in confirming since that the woman who's you know was arrested, um, there was um, Kahoma Agar, the nine of Longville, Georgia, was taken to custody and you know transported to the uh, Montgomery County Jefferson facility where she being held on a felony attempt to elude charge. It said Agar was you know also warned, you know that has warrants throughout the Butler Police Department in Texas. For aggravated assault on a family member with a gun and an aggravated assault against a police officer. So it says the album of law enforcement AC confirmed Bell um the um the Baylor is located I think out of near Houston, Texas and um because the incident started around noon where the um the, where the album of law enforcement AC highway patrol officer tried to try, try to stop the um Tiger twenty two Mercedes SUV they were driving in. In Montgomery, the driver would stop the car, leading multiple law enforcement units to pursue her, no bound on Interstate 65. The chase came to an end approximately around 20 minutes, uh, I mean 20 miles north where it started near the uh, 92 um, mile marker. So it's just that, you know, it's just that, um, it's that album of Hollywood Patrol um, Division, State Bureau of Investigation, Special Agents, Squats, Hodges, you know, I tried to negotiate the um action unit, elevated unit, and then serve the deputies with the Otago and Chile County Sheriff's Office are held with the pursuit, standoff, and arrest. So it's just a, you know, the LDA and they, um, confirmed Edgar was the only person, you know, in the car driving. So it's just a, the, the whole, um, yeah, the, the, um, it's just that whole, uh, you know, animal law enforcement shut down the state more than two hours during the ensuing standoff. The road has been I think open now. So it's the the traffic was still standstill. Nervous commuters at close proximity to the uh, situation began to I guess show the photos and veil with it. There was a fake toy news. Some some law on law enforcement eight officers, some of their guns drawn and aimed during the tense situation went on and um uh, Man, oh, okay, okay. So they, okay, so, you know, um, okay. Woman is 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 um got trouble trying to elude the cops and uh, how she will like you know warned out test for a type of assault charge and how she's in jail. But I don't know. I feel like that. Why would the woman would go on top of a top of standing off with the cops for? I, I uh, down here means people that you know. But, so I guess it was driving. So I guess they're trying to stop the car and how she was like driving the car down here and uh, how she stopped the car. And so I guess you let him on chase and um, but um, but I feel like why would the woman would lead him on chase for? But I don't know. I feel like you know, the Trevor had got you know blocked off um that Friday yesterday to where you know it was a car, you know the, the cops were like you know trying you know trying to drive through the uh, the highway somehow the, the officers you know the car through and um, but I feel like that she's the woman who's got charged you know with starting. You know, uh, you know, I guess it's, uh, I'm I guess her boyfriend had been tested to where I raised someone to, uh, to I think she shot, I guess, her boyfriend or something, you know, they're tested to where she, I think, I see that, I think, I think, he, I think that she was on the run and uh, how she, you know, kind of like, let more chase than her and, uh, and how she's in jail for trying to lose and, um, uh, but I feel like that, um, I don't know, I think she got, got shot with type of wound right there and how she's trying to run for the officers and stuff and, um, uh, but I feel like people who, Probably they might go in the run for for at least four hours, and they might go in the run because they might be afraid to wait. You know, they may, uh, I guess you might go to jail. And you know, how she on on, you know, uh, I, traffic trouble on I sixty five in Atauga County, but we didn't know what caused it all until now. State law enforcement confirming details for WSFA twelve news just a short time ago. Here's what we know.
It started just after noon when Alabama State Troopers tried to stop a Mercedes SUV on I-65 in Montgomery near the Fairview Avenue exit, but the driver failed to stop. A chase ensued, eventually coming to an end in Otauga County between Pine Level and Verbena. That's where officials say there was a standoff between the driver and law enforcement. Ultimately, the driver was arrested and identified as 39-year-old Shoima Agurd of Lawrenceville, Georgia. She's now charged with a attempting to elude. She also has warrants from Bel Air police in Texas for aggravated assault of a family member and aggravated assault of a police officer. She's in custody tonight. Meanwhile, we're told the scene has been cleared. I-65 in Otauga County has since reopened.